another serene sunrise over Kenya's Great Rift Valley. As so noted on the rock, we are at the highest point of the crater. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are in Crater Lake, Kenya for a sunrise walk around the crater's rim. A slog of a hike. <laughs> I'm nuclear free. Tree branch or part of a log. Jarka. Sweat. Certainly there are no issues camping at the side of Crater Lake. While we have this elevated view, let's take a look into the valley. These greenhouses outside of Lake Naivasha are part of Kenya's thriving floriculture industry. The walk around the lake is expected to take a couple of hours. As the name implies, Crater Lake, not only here in Kenya, but every other crater lake around the world, is a pool of water that has settled within an area that was caused by volcanic eruption or an explosion. Signage along the trail has been terrific, though uh, I don't think this prickly pear appreciated its pad being painted upon. Halfway along the hike, and we can observe the lake in its elongated shape. Easily observed throughout the crater are these black shiny rocks, and these are known as obsidians. And whether they come as uh, loose stones or embedded within other rocks, they were formed during the cooling of the volcanic lava. Hey, a warthog. I was wondering if you would see any exotic animals here at the Crater Lake Sanctuary. Hmm. I opened my mouth and boy, has he taken off. That's a whole stampede of warthogs. As the sun continues to climb over the lake, a brilliant contrast between the live acacia trees and those which have fallen in the water and their ashen colors. Here at Crater Lake and nearby Lake Naivasha, the water levels have actually risen in the past couple of years and thereby have flooded those trees along the shorelines, causing the roots to have rotted. A spectacular view from my tent of the Crater Lake at the Crater Lake Sanctuary. If we started the hike at the highest peak along Crater Lake, this observation point, it ain't too shabby. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From Crater Lake, Kenya, nearest to Lake Naivasha, thank you very much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. After the extra, let's go take a look at some of the monkeys here at the sanctuary. While the sanctuary owns numerous animals of several different species, these wild colobus monkeys are free to come and go as they please. Almost skunk-like in appearance, the colobuses are actually very tame. Filming monkeys when it's the start of the heat of the day might not have been the best idea, but these animals are visible. That's who I'm looking for. Where are you? Hello. Hi, monkey. 
the vervet monkeys at Crater Lake. They are the mischievous ones. Don't forget, Bob loves your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions. Much, much appreciated.